APC has metamorphosed into a limited liability company. It is now NMPC Limited. To that extent, the NMPC like Total, like ExxonMobil, like Shell, operating in the oil industry cannot announce increases in the prices of petroleum products. That duty is vested in the government. Nobody has the right in Nigeria to fix the prices of petroleum products other than the government. Because you have the Price Control Act and at that time the Petroleum Act, now PIA Act. So you ask the NMPC, where have you got the powers to fix the prices of petroleum products or the price of petrol this time around? From 185 for the Arab to 540. How? So and, and the clarification is important. situation which we have found ourselves since ministers have not been appointed right the president is running the country only the president can so decide for now the price yep. so because any... you have the price control act you have the PIA act right there is no provision in our law for market forces to determine the prices of any products in the country. We have always condemned the soul of the soul important because you do not allow for competition whereas you may want to bring your products from Europe or America I may prefer to go to the Middle East there was a time the government was importing from all over the place and I said no Cote has a functional refinery so why don't you import from refine from that country, we now refine about 60,000 barrels a day. I don't know what the current number is. We even go to Niger, right, to refine. Because for 30 years, shamefully, this country is the only oil producing country in the world that imports petroleum products. Only one. These guys collapse them. You have an you think incompetent and a reckless ruling class. You think it's it, intentional for the reform oh yes, not to be one? Oh yes, because you, between 1993 and 2016, the government spent $6 billion, $6.025 billion on turning around maintenance of the refinery. At the end of the day, the government left them at a comatose stage. And when President Baban Buhari came on board, as a former minister, because he had promised, as a former minister of petroleum resources, I'm going to fix the refinery. So Labour reminded him in 2015, fix the refinery. Oh, but what do you call it? Uh, uh, neoliberal forces in the government discourage the government. Oh, government has no business in business. Let private people do so. But. The government was not reminded that licenses issued by the Obasanjo regime for establishing refineries were simply dumped by those who got them. Unfortunately, the same government was now persuaded as the Buhari regime to invest through the NMPC 
$2.7 billion in the Dangote refinery. We're going to be giving, supplying that refinery 300,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Those who say government has no business in, in business. It was at that stage, President Buhari as Minister of Petroleum Resources. Hey, hey, why, why are we doing this? Why are we not fixing our own refineries? It was at that stage, almost belatedly, that the government approved that Portaco refineries, two of them, be fixed with the sum of $1.5 billion. Wari and Kaduna be fixed with the sum of $1.4 billion. So, in addition to our investment in Dangote refinery, you're also talking of $2.9 billion to fix the four early refineries of the country. Now, nobody is asking the question, when will the repairs be completed? What of Kaduna and Wari? When will Dangote refinery become functional? so that we can look at all the circumstances in which we have found ourselves and then take the best position, decision.